In this video, I will show you how to find an unknown side when you have two right triangles connected like this. My hint will be to find the length of the shared side first. All right, so you know what? Um, let's call this shared side N. All right, so I'm going to find N first. So, all right, focusing on the left side of the triangle then, I've got this angle, the 35, and then now I've got these two sides. Are either one of these the hypotenuse? No, the hypotenuse is over there. So the 32, is this opposite or adjacent? All right, this is, whoops, this is the adjacent leg because it's right next to the 35. So that makes it adjacent to the 35. The N is the opposite leg because of the way it is across from the 35. So we've got opposite and adjacent. Which trig function is that? Okay, that's the tangent function. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we will set up the tangent function. So we will say the tangent of 35 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be n over 32. All right, so we will simply multiply both sides by 32 to get the n by itself. So multiply by 32. That will cancel out. All right, so now we could uh, find the value of n by simply putting all of this into the calculator. So 32 tangent 35. All right, 32 tangent 35. All right, we're going to do three decimal places. So this is 22.407. Since this is 5 or higher, you have to round this up to 7. Okay, so that's n. So now that we know what n is, I think I'll go ahead and write it in. Okay, so this side over here is 22.407. Now, just so I don't get confused, I'm going to erase my um, opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse type marks. Okay, now. This time, we've got this angle, all right, it, inside of this triangle the, on the right-hand side. And I've got x, and I've got this 22.407. Are either one of these the hypotenuse? Yes, the x is the hypotenuse. It is across from the 90-degree angle. Um, this 22.407, is this the uh, opposite leg or the adjacent leg? This is the opposite leg because of the way it is across from the 63. This little blank side right here, that would have been the adjacent leg. So what we have is opposite and hypotenuse. What trig function is that? Well, that is the sine function. Opposite over hypotenuse, that's the sine function. So that's how I know to do sine of 63 and opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be... 22.407 uh, over x. Okay, when the variable is in the denominator, you can swap these. So this is going to give me x is equal to 22.407 over sine 63. And you can just put all this in your calculator to get the final answer. Let's see, 22.407 over sine 63. So that's 25.148. Eight got a round up, 
Okay, so that will be the answer to number 12. Okay, now let's do the same thing for number 13. Let's start by finding the shared side, and again, I will call it n. So I've got this uh, 56 uh, is the angle, and then I've got the 9 and the n. Are either one of these the hypotenuse? Yes, the 9 is the hypotenuse. Now this n, is this opposite leg or adjacent leg? All right, hopefully you can see that this is the adjacent leg because it's right next to the 56. This blank side would have been opposite. So we have adjacent and hypotenuse. Which trig function is that? All right, that's the cosine function is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's how we know to do the cosine function. So we will say cosine of 56 is equal to the adjacent leg, which is n, over the hypotenuse, which is 9. Now, if I want to get, that looks like an h. This is supposed to be an n. If I want to get n by itself, I will just multiply by the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 9. So the, the 9's cancel out. That will leave n by itself. So I can just type, uh, type this into my calculator. 9 cosine 56, just like that. All right, that is 5.033. The next number is uh, 5 or higher, so you've got to round up. 5.033. Okay, so that is the shared side. So now I'm just going to go ahead and erase my um, hypotenuse and my adjacent so I can fill this in. All right, in fact, I think I will go ahead and put my 5.033 on the line. So now I'm going to look around and see what I've got. All right, because now it's time to find x. So um, 26 is the angle that I have in this triangle. And I'm trying to find x, and I've got the 5.033. Are either one of these the hypotenuse? No, the hypotenuse is over there. So this 5.033, is this the opposite leg or the adjacent leg? Well, this is the opposite leg because it is across from the 26. And the x is the adjacent leg because it is right next to the 26. Let me get this straight. Opposite and adjacent, you say? Which trig function is that? That's your tangent function, opposite over adjacent. So we will use the tangent function then. So we will say tangent of 26 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So that's 5.033. Okay, over x. When the variable is in the denominator, you can use a shortcut and swap these. So that's going to give us x equals 5.033 over uh, tangent 26. And then you can just put this in your calculator. Ten point three one nine. Don't round up. Ten point three one nine. All right, and that is how it is done. All right, number fourteen. Um, we have to deal with the left side first because it's the only uh, side that we're given, and uh, so let's go ahead and find the shared side. I'm going to call it N. So, um, we've got the n and the 49. Are either of these the hypotenuse? Yes, 49 is the hypotenuse. Now, this n, okay, look, we've got the 44, all right? That's the angle. 
from the 44, is this N opposite or adjacent? Okay, it is adjacent because it's right next to the 44. So we have adjacent and hypotenuse. Which trig function is that? That's the cosine function, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's how we know to do the cosine function. So we will say cosine of 44 is equal to the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. Okay, uh, when the variable is in the numerator, all you have to do is multiply both sides by the denominator because that will cancel out the denominator. Okay, so that is going to get n by itself. So you can just put this in your calculator, 49 cosine 44. All right, that is 35.248. The next number is five or higher, so you gotta round up, 35.248. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and erase my hypotenuse and adjacent, and even the end. I think I'll go ahead and, and write 35.248 where it goes. And now let's jump over to the triangle on the right-hand side where the angle that I have is this 24. Um, so I've got the 35.248 and x. Are either one of these the hypotenuse? Yes, the x is the hypotenuse, cross from the 90. The 35.248, is this opposite or adjacent leg? Okay, this is the opposite leg because it is across from the 24. So, op, uh, opposite and hypotenuse, which trig function is that? That's the sine function, opposite over hypotenuse. So that's how we know to use the sine function. So sine of 24 is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 35.248 over x. When the variable is in the denominator, you can swap these. So that's going to give you x is equal to 35.248 over sine 24. And you can just put this whole expression in your calculator. Okay, um, I'm covering up a lot of it. Uh, it's 35.248 over uh, sine 24. All right, so that's 86.660, don't round up. All right, and that's how you find an unknown side when uh, you have two right triangles stuck together. Number 15. Okay, let's call the, un, uh, the shared side n, starting over here on the left. Um, from the perspective of the 44, the 19 is the opposite leg. Look, the hypotenuse is over here, so the, these are opposite and adjacent. This is the one that's across, so it's opposite, and this one is adjacent because it is right next to. Opposite and adjacent. Okay, that is the tangent function, opposite over adjacent. So that's how I know to do the tangent function. So we will say tangent of 44 is equal to opposite over adjacent, 19 over n. When the variable is in the denominator, you can swap these. So this is going to be n is equal to 19 over tangent 44. And you can just put this in your calculator. 
over tangent 44. 19.675. Okay, so let me erase some of this, uh, some of these words, so we don't get confused. Okay, in fact, um, this 19.675 is the uh, shared side, so I'm going to go ahead and write that in, 19.675. All right, from the perspective of this angle, um, I've got these two sides, right? Now I'm looking for the x, and I've got 19.675. Are either one of these the hypotenuse? The x is the hypotenuse, all right? Is this the um, opposite or adjacent? This is opposite, the opposite leg, because it's across from the 24. So, opposite and hypotenuse, which trig function is that? That's your sine function, opposite over hypotenuse. So that's how I know to do the sine function. So I will say sine of 24 is opposite over hypotenuse, so 19.675 over x. When the variable is in the denominator, you want to swap these. So that's going to give you x is equal to 19.675 over sine 24. And then you can just put this in your calculator. So 19.675 Seven five over sine twenty four. All right, so that's forty eight point three seven three. Got to round up because of the eight. Forty eight point three seven three. Okay, and that's the final answer for number fifteen. All right, number 16, let's just do it again. Let's call this unknown side N. We're, uh, our angle is 21. So the 32 is the hypotenuse, okay? Uh, the N is the adjacent leg because it's closest to the 21. So adjacent and hypotenuse that is the cosine function, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's why we will use the cosine function, and we will say cosine of 21 is equal to the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. When the variable is in the numerator, all you have to do is multiply both sides by the denominator. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by 32. That way, these 32s will cancel out, and that will leave n by itself. OK, so I'm just going to put 32 cosine 21 in my calculator. Twenty nine point eight seven five. If it's five or higher, if the next number is five or higher, you have to round up. So 29.875. Okay, let me erase my words. Okay, and in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and write this 29.875 on the shared side. to make it more clear what's happening. Now we can go after the x. So now we will be dealing with this angle. And from this perspective, well, first of all, are either one of these the hypotenuse? Yeah, the x is the hypotenuse. It's across from the 90. The 29.875 is the adjacent leg uh, because it's 
close to the 35. This is the opposite leg way over here. So adjacent and hypotenuse. Which trig function is that? That's the cosine function, adjacent over hypotenuse. So we will do cosine of 35 is equal to the adjacent leg, so 29.875 over x. When the variable is in the denominator, you can swap these. It's a good thing to do. So that's going to give you x equals um, 29.875 over cosine 35, all right? You just swap these. And then uh, that is something you can just put in your calculator. All right, so 36 Point four seven one got around up. All right, and that's the final answer for number sixteen. All right, let's do one more. Okay, let's call this shared side N. All right, we've got the forty seven degree angle to start with. Are either one of these the hypotenuse? Yes, the 20 is the hypotenuse. Um, this N is the opposite leg because it is across from the 47. So opposite and hypotenuse, what trig function is that? That's the sine function, opposite over hypotenuse. So that's why we will start off with the sine function, sine 47 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so that's n over 20. Um, when the variable is in the numerator, we can just multiply by the denominator. All right, that way these 20s will cancel each other out. And that is going to leave n by itself. So I'm just going to put 20 sine 47 in the calculator. So that is 14.627. Okay, so that is N. So I'm going to erase some of these extra words and markings. And I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, 14.627 right on the shared side. Now we will go after the X. So now that we're in this triangle, we are focusing on the 30. Are either one of these the hypotenuse? The x is the hypotenuse. What about this 14.627? This is the adjacent leg, because it's right next to the 30. So the adjacent leg. So we have adjacent and hypotenuse. Which trig function is that? cosine function, adjacent over hypotenuse, that's the cosine function. So that's how we know to do the cosine function. So we will say cosine of 30 uh, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's 14.627 over x. When the variable is in the denominator, you can swap these. So that's going to give you x is equal to 14.627 over cosine 30. And then you can just put that in your calculator. Okay, 
But then because of the eight, we really need to round this up. Um, so here's a little lesson on rounding. This is one of the trickier ones where I'm gonna have to change more than one number. Um, and when the last digit is a nine, here's what I recommend. So let's see, let me copy this down. 16.889. Okay, so say if I have 16.889, and I already know I have to round up because the next number was five or higher. Um, what I would recommend is just look at this entire number, the whole thing, and uh, imagine increasing the whole thing by one. All right, um, so 889. If I increase that by one, what will that be? Won't that be 890? So that's what you put. So this will be 16.890. And that is the final answer. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.